Hello, my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here, and we're here to give you a new hike this week. We are embarking on a segment of the Fundy Footpath in New Brunswick, Canada. We're here to do a 31-mile hike, uh, starting in the Fundy National Park and ending in Salmon River. So we're expecting a little more than a mile an hour in terms of speed, like two kilometers an hour. And uh, so it's going to be not very far, but still very long days. Yeah, we're we're doing the 31 miles, <clears throat> the 31 miles, which I said, and in those 31 miles, we're doing 9,500 feet of elevation. Uh, now we were told, I didn't know this, but we were told this is one of the top 50 hikes of the world. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that is the cliffs that we've talked about. And a lot of it is the tides of Fundy Bay, which are the largest tides in the world. So if you ever wonder where the largest tides in the world are, it's right here, Fundy Bay. Twice a day, uh, there's the high tide and the low tide and the fluctuation in how high these high tides are from the low tides is 50 feet. <laughs> this is gonna affect our river crossings because the tide comes up, up the river stream. Now for the, inf for the sake of information dumping, we also learned that there's been an increase in great white sharks in the area. Oh, right. <laughs> so uh, definitely be aware. Uh, there are apps and shark tracking resources. apps. So I got to get the shark trapping app, tracking app. Different resources you can use to see um, pre-tagged sharks and where they are. So that's been a long intro. We got four days of hiking. A lot more film. Stay tuned. Stay with us subscribe and get ready for some views this is you know some easy trail right now this is the first hike 360 uh international special here oh right this is the first international hike 360. Uh, the first part of the hike we have barely gone anywhere but we got some good bridges and some good streams to cross i have a feeling we're going to get a lot of this and then we'll go over here look down it's really gorgeous i love the moss how do you feel about the moss i love the moss and this is going to be our launch view this is a uh, schoolhouse nook or schoolhouse cranny something like that schoolhouse brook. brook schoolhouse brook right down there we are approaching schoolhouse brook i think we're doing better than approaching i think we're here so well, the park's done a really good job with these bridges. The trail's actually in really good shape too. I was expecting uh, rock scrambling like Acadia, and it's been pretty smooth. Arriving at the Goose River campgrounds. These campgrounds are still a part of the Fundy National Park and you need permits to camp here. That's why we are continuing along the Fundy footpath to get out of the park so that we can kind of camp where we please. Uh, yes, you have to get your permits ahead of time. Um, and that's a little piece of information we didn't know. So if you're watching this video, then you can know it. All right, well, we're gonna go down to Goose River Beach. But look at the, they got firewood here. They got yeah. an outhouse. Like these campsites are, are pretty well, pretty well set up. All right, look at this. Goose River Beach. Now we're going to, it's low tide. It's uh, two hours, one hour after low tide. We're going to walk back here this way and get on the path so we don't have to go back up. And so we get the best of both worlds. We get to see the tide come in. You could actually see the water rising in front of you. And if you look at the, the water line on the rock, you know, that's got another 15 feet or something like that. And then it'll come rushing over here. So this is a campsite. And then there's another over there. 
Wow. Does this remind you of anything? Similar to anything you've done? Not really. Ooh, this is so much lower, Ryan. We're we are gonna have to get over here. Yeah, the tide. The tide will fill this up pretty quickly. But you can see this from the map. Oh my gosh. That is so great. Look at that vegetation right here. Ooh, a little ecosystem. And now we got a good view of Nova Scotia. Ready, set, go! We can just watch this line of water increase here. With every wave? Yeah. And the waves are, you know, they're coming up the bay. It's a little cove here, so. I think you can see that it's a little higher out there than it is here. But that's me. All right, so some things have happened. <laughs> we we're trying to traverse the the stream back here. We beat the tide, but the river itself has, of course, its own life. So we're walking on a tidal bed. I like how you phrase that. It's very greasy. Yeah, and if you can see Ryan's left foot, he went down a long way. Well, it looked like regular mud. Uh, but it, it ate me up like quicksand. <laughs> his face, his face was so funny. It's just like, what just happened? <laughs> my, my whole foot got sucked under. All right, so we've officially switched over from the Fundy National Park to the Fundy Centerway. Ah, uh, I'm blanking. Parkway? Parkway, thank you. Uh, we're on the Fundy Parkway now. But it's uh, hard. And I wanted to give you uh, an idea of the steepness. Although, this isn't even what we just came from. It isn't as bad as what we just came from. Oh, this is a great little vantage point. Uh, you can see our coastal route for the rest of our trip. We're almost at our campsite tonight. We just have to get down to the water level. Um, the little island straight ahead is uh, called the Head of Martin. And you can see the land bridge that connects it to the mainland. That is only there during low tide. During high tide, it's all water. So during low tide, people go apparently go out with like dune buggies and or ATVs and they party on the weekend or on the island and then they got to wait for the tide to shift before they can leave. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Hey, welcome back. We are arrived. We are arrived. We are arrived at Rosebrook. 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 The brook knows, known as Rose. That's the one. We're tired. Put in like 12 and a half miles today. Yeah, it was supposed to be 12 and a half kilometers turned into miles. To 25,000 steps. Okay. We are an hour away from high tide, so pretty sure it's going to stay down lower than this. So we're going to just set up camp right here. On the beach. On the beach. And, uh, you know, we always bring a tarp. It's one thing, uh, we split uh, carrying duties. So I carry the utilities, um, stove, stove, and first aid, and some food. And, and then Ryan's doing the heavy work of carrying the main food canister and uh, the tent. 
We have a bear canister, which I'm sure we'll show at some point in the series. Show you right now. And uh, and the tent. It's a two-person tent. New. Brand new. Shout out Jameson, thanks for the tent. My homie hooked me up with a new tent. He used it once. Ah. Uh, and then there's two people's worth of four full days of food. I'm excited to eat. Yeah. So we're going to put that behind this big, huge, beautiful log. It's not really far enough away from our tent, but there's not really any bears right here. No. Um, this cliff that I was walking over to to show you, uh, you know, these cliffs really, I mean, sure, they can come down the stream, but the, the cliffs really kind of knock them out. The only time I've seen bears on the coast is in uh, Vancouver Island. And that was because they had big crabs that were on shore and the bears were crabbing. The trail got really difficult, so this is as hard as they say it is. Oh, look at the waves splashing over there. Nice brick wall here. All right, well, thank you for joining us for day one that completes the first of four days here on the fundy path trail fundy footpath say that three times and uh of course the tides are are really a big deal here so um we're pretty excited look at this campsite all right thanks again for joining us day one all right, we're going to get a little sunset here, a little bonus coverage. If I can get down to the, <laughs> to the beach here. Oh, the temperature is just perfect. The light breeze off the water. I mean, who knew that you could just set up a tent on the beach? I have this, oh, going to sleep to the waves crashing. This is fantastic. Look at the colors on the coast of Nova Scotia.